Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Karma. It's a busy holiday season and I'm wondering, are you struggling with finding time to write in between your normal commitments and now all the holiday commitments? Are you finding that family and friends want to maybe spend more time with you? Oh, there's a thought. But you still want to keep your commitments. So how do you let your loved ones know that you need time to write? How do you get them to buy in and help you honor your commitment to getting your book done? In this video, I'm going to share five tips on how you can partner with your family and friends so that you maybe you won't have as much time as you normally do because I mean this is the holiday season but at least they won't be completely disrespecting your need to have writing time they'll they'll buy into it hi my name is Karma Spence and I help entrepreneurs write a lead attracting book in 90 days or less you know I almost said 90 seconds that's very weird you can't write a book in 90 seconds <laughs> anyway sidetracking. So my first tip is to be clear and direct. Explain your writing commitments in, in simple, straightforward terms and let them know how important this is to you. Um, there's something about just being honest and vulnerable. Like, like look, I've got this goal. You know, here, I'll just do an example with what's going on for me. I have this goal that I want to write and publish and drop a book into the world once a month for 2024. And that means that I'm going to have to have a little bit more intensive writing schedule. And I would really appreciate it if you would honor my writing time. Just give me like two days notice or something like before you need to come over and do something. I just need a little heads up so that I can rearrange my schedule or rearrange my writing time. And also there are certain, maybe certain, maybe there are certain days. I'm a, I'm a segue back into giving you advice here. Maybe there are certain days that you're gonna like, okay, Wednesdays are my writing days. Please don't contact me or understand that my phone is turned off and that's why I'm not answering. So please don't blow up my phone trying to get me to answer because I won't. Something like that. So it's just being clear and direct. My set second tip is to set expectations early. Don't just drop them like, oh, by the way, next week I'm writing. <laughs> you know, it's like, give them a heads up so that they can make their plans too. And I mean, through a lot of this com communication, I do I have noticed that family have said, hey, I know that karma has stuff to do. Can she fit this into her schedule? It's, it's those simple little ways of respecting each other's time. You respect theirs, they respect yours. And if you set these expectations early, they know what to expect as the holidays come up. Tip number three is to seek their support. When you're when you're framing your request for understanding and for space, do it in a way so that they're part of your journey. So that they feel like they are contributing to your success. Emphasize how their, their support is crucial to you achieving your goals. There's, when you do it this way, it's like, it's like they're part of your journey and then they get to feel good about themselves because, hey, they know an author and they're supporting that author's journey. And then when your book comes out, they can look at that book and they can feel like I was a part of making that happen. I mean, that's part of the reason why you include your readers in your marketing. Same, it's that same emotion. People feel like, I know that author. I, I played a small part in making that book happen. And there's just something that people like to do that. I mean, I know I like to do it. I, I, support, I support my clients, my friends who are writing books. And whenever I see somebody that I know who's like launching a book and they've got it on Kindle for 99 cents for their launch, I'll buy it, even though I may never read it because I never read Kindle. My Kindle's filled with books I'll probably never read because I just don't like reading digital books. I'm one of those. Yeah. But I still support. I still support them. If I want to read the book, I'll I'll 
right, get a paperback version and pay a little more. It's no worries. Tip number four, offer compromises. That means that you're showing a willing a willingness to balance your needs with their needs. So, you know, it don't think of it as tit for tat. Think of it more as a win-win. So you're winning because they're helping you get more writing time, but they're winning because you're helping participate in the whole holiday thing. That may mean that you will need, like I said in yesterday, yesterday, I think it was yesterday's episode where I said it may mean that you need to set less ambitious goals for December than you would in any other month. And it may mean that instead of having writing Wednesday, you have writing Thursday, you know, whatever it is, like it just be willing to compromise and change your plans. And if you've set all these expectations early, they're not going to say, hey, tomorrow we need you to come. They're going to say, hey, we're planning a holiday get together in a couple of weeks. Can you switch that Wednesday schedule? Something like that. So it's like be willing to work with them so that they will work with you. And finally, and this is so important, express gratitude. Let them know that you appreciate their willingness to work with you on this. Because nothing's worse than an ungrateful bore. <laughs> you know, just it, gratitude goes a long way. It makes you feel better. It makes them feel better. And it greases the wheels to getting what you need and what they need. So there you have it. Five tips to letting your loved ones know that you need writing time. Be clear and direct, set expectations early, seek their support, offer compromises, and express your gratitude. Now, if you're ready to write your book, I put quick start in the comment wherever it ends up <laughs> around this video and let me know and I will send you a link to download my quick start guide for writing an authority building short book. It teaches you my three, three step process, the MSV framework for identifying the perfect idea for a lead generating book. And as extra information, it helps you understand your authority building style and what type of short book fits best with your authority building style. Again, just drop quick, just drop quick start into the comments and I will contact you with the link to download that. This is Karma with th today's Coffee with Karma saying ciao for now.